in schools. Um, if you could just clarify, I know you've talked about this a little bit already, uh, do you think that at some point in the future, even if that point isn't now, it would be appropriate for there to be updated federal guidelines just to avoid confusion? I think the administration has been clear that on other issues there are sort of messaging issues that could have been a little bit more uh, clear coming from the administration. So on this issue, do you think that that might be appropriate? Well, the guidance is very clear, which is that we recommend uh, masking in schools. Uh, that is the recommendation from the CDC. Yeah. It is also true that at some point when the science and the data warrants, of course, our, our hope is that that's no longer the recommendation. Uh, and they are continually assessing that. But the guidance is very clear. It is also true that it has always been up to local school districts to make determinations about how to implement these policies. Go ahead. Thanks, Jen. Uh, just to follow on that, you had said that you guys are in constant contact uh, with CDC about what it looks like to move forward. Uh, can we expect the president to provide some sort of roadmap for how uh, states can transition out of a state of emergency, kind of akin to what he did with the winter strategy? We're in constant discussion internally about the moment we're in as it relates to COVID. And of course, uh, as the president said, I think during his press conference just two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, um, you know, we, we certainly don't see this moment now as the new normal, right? And we, but we want to get to a point uh, where we are not, where COVID is not disrupting our daily lives. And I'm sure you will hear more from the president about that, but that's, uh, we're constantly discussing that internally. Can I ask one more just for a colleague? Um, the Education Department announced Friday it was going to withdraw its appeal for a $100,000 student loan forgiveness court decision. Wondering if you could shed any light on why the Biden administration reversed its decision to appeal the case and if there's any plans to fight other bankruptcy cases. I, I would really point you to the Department of Education and the Department of Justice potentially, but I will check and see if there's anything more we can offer on that from here. Go ahead. Got one more on masks. Um, I just, I was wondering if I could just ask it this way. Sure. The president's wife is an educator. He just heard from governors across the country last week, many of whom were saying, this is enough, it's time for new normal. Where is he on this after taking all of these inputs? Well, the president is not a private citizen. He's president of the United States, right? So his... Hit. And so I'm asking you. Well, but I, I guess I'm saying it's different than, than asking kind of a person on the street, right? I mean, I'm just, you know, it is different because he is the president. He needs to project uh, the, what the data and the science is telling us. And the data and science, where, where we get that guidance from is the CDC and our health and medical experts. Their guidance remains, continues to be, that, uh, that in schools people should mask up. So that is what we are continuing to convey and recommend. And then uh, can you tell us any more about where he will be going on Thursday? Not quite yet, um, but hopefully, maybe by the end of the day, we hope to have some more details very soon. Sure, go ahead. 